Good Thursday morning. It is day two of this post flu like whatever it was I had, but slowly gaining strength and getting back to work. So. So you've seen in my videos in the past where we do tires here, and sometimes people say, well, well what do you do with your old tires the ones you take off the cars? Well, anything that's any good, like if they come off of one of our used cars, we'll keep them and we'll sell them because uh, it's easier to sell a car with brand new tires on it than it is with, you know, three quarters worn or half worn out tires. So we generally put more, uh, new tires on them. But most of the ones that aren't any good come to the graveyard over here. And because they're no good and we don't want people coming back on us for warranty issues, we will almost always cut the sidewall out or do something with the tire just so that uh, just so that people don't come back and uh, you know say they got a tire and they need a warranty claim you know there's people out there that will do that so we just started knifing the side of them well just a couple minutes ago we had a fellow in here ask us if he could go through our tire pile and we said well you can if you want but there's not a good tire in the bunch. Oh no, he says, I can look through that. Um, but we also told him that, you know, we cut the sidewall out. And, oh no, that's no problem, he says. But, anyways, he might be in for a surprise. He had an Impala, he had about five of them loaded in the trunk, all roped down, so when he goes to try and use them, he may find that uh, they're no good, but uh, nevertheless, that's why we have no problem just rolling them off to the side we don't care if people take them at this point because we know they're no good. But I guess some people you just can't explain things to. Here's one of our latest purchases, Kia Rondo 2014. Alex is getting her cleaned up here pretty good. And it's that time of year where I sell off my winter beater. Time to get rid of the old Pathfinder. She's a good working vehicle, man. She's a tank, but she's got a few little blemishes where the paint's peeling here and up there. And it's got a little crack in the bumper there. But uh, other than that, she works like a works like a charm. I've mentioned in some of my other videos how much I love driving that rig, but uh, now it's time to move on. Anyone looking for a good four-wheel drive? That's the ticket right there, boys. Good morning, guys, and happy 420. And not for the reasons that you would expect, but because it's snowing again. April 20th, and it's snowing. But one good thing is the Maple Leafs got beat last night, which means I think that they're out. So, Mother Nature, spring is here now. Bring on the good weather. Because these guys need to hit the golf course. Well, guys, today we are driving in the trade-in of my little rocket ship that we sold. This is a 2009 Hyundai Elantra with 297,000 kilometers, 190,000 miles. But besides the mileage, you'd never know it. The car drives very well, other than the maybe a scallop tire in the back. It uh, it's tight, no squeaks, no rattles. Um, everything seems to work no lights on the dash. Um, this customer is a good customer of ours that traded this in and he uh, got us to do all the regular maintenance, tires or brakes and oil changes, stuff like that. He always uh, he always came in to us. So we've done all the maintenance on it ever since uh, we sold it to him about four years ago. So it doesn't seem to be a bad little car. So if anyone out there looking for a cheap little uh, gas miser then you can uh, stop out and see me. Probably gonna stick this on the lot for Fifteen hundred bucks. Boys, oh boys, uptown is busy today. You know, 
one thing in life that I find very not fair is people with disabilities. I'm not sure how or why people get that way, but by all means they deserve every ounce of parking available. And then we got people like this who park, double parked in a handicap, no handicap placard to be found. So right now, um, it's Saturday, and although it's only 50 degrees out, it, it is, is warm. warming up the floor quite nicely, as well as warming up this dynamat to make it um, quite sticky and flexible. So I think uh, if the weather stays like this, uh, which is supposed to over the next week or so, we should be able to get this product in and uh, hopefully the interior back together and enjoy some of that nice weather and get the car out for a drive. So that is the plan anyways. Man, what a gorgeous day. I'm excited. Again. campground and I'm excited. I'm excited. Well we made it down to the campground for another walk and everything seems to be checking out all right. No damage and uh, no signs of mice. We are gonna have to put the awning, a new awning on this year I think though. That one's uh, pretty tore up and the fence over there is in pretty rough shape. We may have to re redo that get some new pieces to the deck built on and get our outdoor kitchen built. So what I'm thinking is our outdoor kitchen is we will build it right in this section so that we can still pull the awning out and have access to it and then put another section down here on this end as well. But I think we survived another winter. Everything looks good on this end too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, red thing down there is our little can, a collapsible clamp can that we use for recycling. Yeah, notice who's going to get it. She's the one that wants it. Need a hand? No. Are you sure? <laughs> we are at ADA Island View Campground, Bayside, New Brunswick. Stop by any time. Our camper is about halfway down this road, and if you can see behind me is the St. Croix River, and uh, it's the same river that separates Callis and St. Stephen. In, uh, in town, but we're about uh, 20 miles downriver, maybe 15 miles. Well again, this is the St. Croix River, and it's quite a bit wider here than it is in town, obviously, because we're further downriver, and just down here, towards St. Andrews, New Brunswick, 
it opens up into the Passamaquoddy Bay, which in turn dumps into the Bay of Fundy. And if you didn't see the last video of our visit down to the camper, this is a long hill and we're starting at the very bottom. <laughs> Whew. You can tell we're not even about, not even a quarter of the way up the hill yet. I'm already pooped. She can be a long summer. Camper, we'll see you in three weeks. Three weeks can't come soon enough. Anybody want to be our neighbor? It's for sale. <laughs> and we're excited! Here's my buddy Russell's truck. I've never met anybody who can drive a truck in the spring and for over a hundred kilometers and not get a speck of dirt on it. But he did cheap out on the engine. He should have went with the Cummins. Love that truck. Well, I'm excited. We made it <laughs> up that hill one more time. Get off of me! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! I am so out of shape. It's not funny. So leave your comments in the section below to tell me what I can do to get up off my lazy rear end. I can tell you. That's actually pretty fun. Oh look! Who's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> <laughs> Might be too soon because the guy who did the voice for that died this week. Oh jeez. Yeah. Sorry, whatever your name is. All right, guys, that does it for another video. Thanks so much for getting us to 100 subscribers and beyond. I think we're up to like 112 or something like that, or 13 now. So please, if you see a video you like, don't be afraid to share it. Hit that like button, comment in the section below. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next upload.